it's your boy laid back welcome back to the channel hey two things we got to do you gotta hit that subscribe button i'm drinking this water you already know what it is man elevate more in 2024 elevate more in 2024 all the smoke is cleared with the kendrick lamar and uh drake beefs up to this point i'm gonna say that but we got some breaking news man um drake house got shot at we gonna get into it we I'm going to say for me, I ain't going to say we. I definitely didn't want to see any of this. I don't know if it's from the beef or whatever. I don't know. But I want everybody to be safe on both sides. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel about it. But we're going to get into it, man, and see actually what's going on. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome back to Live Now from Fox. And we do have some breaking news that we want to get to. This is some aerial footage of the house from Drake. This is the rapper Drake right there. This is his house in Toronto. There was a shooting that happened earlier outside Drake's Toronto home. Mm. And one person was injured in this. According to TMZ, sources confirm the injured person is a member of Drake's security team. Mm. Now, police have yet to say if they believe the shooting is related to the Kendrick Lamar feud. Uh, Drake and Kendrick Lamar have been feuding for quite some time. Release they putting that in the news. They putting that in the news. They even saying we don't know if it's related to the Drake Kendrick. It couldn't have just been a, just a shooting. It had to be Anyway, let's go. Uh, ...diss tracks uh, against one another. Uh, but again, police have revealed the victim suffered a gunshot wound to the upper chest, and it does mm. appear to have been a drive-by attack. Also, there has been impact across the Atlantic in London. Someone reportedly vandalizing Drake's store. Spray I heard painting, about that. quote, they not like us on the store's front window. Uh, that graffiti inspired by Kendrick Lamar's. I was going to say, now you know where they got that idea from. Latest diss track drop, quote, not like us. And just a short time ago, we were hearing from Canadian authorities as they shared the very latest in this shooting. And I do want to play. What are y'all thoughts, too, on this thing right here, man? Like with them vandalizing this, the store and this situation right here. I know you got, well, like I said, I got to speak for myself. I, I don't want to see any type of violence. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. You know what I mean? When it comes to this rap beef, I know it got touchy with what they were saying, but I definitely don't want to see, it'll be super unfortunate if one of these dudes was to lose their life over this shit. Just keeping it 100, man. Say that for you right now. And then one of the media relations officers for the Toronto Police Service. Speaking today is Inspector Paul Krawchuk of our Integrated Gun and Gang Task Force, which investigates all shootings and firearm discharges within the city of Toronto. Inspector? Good morning, everyone. I'm Inspector Paul Krawchuk of the Integrated Gun and Gang Task Force, and uh, I'm pleased to be here today. I know there's a lot of interest in this incident, and I hope you can also appreciate that information is very limited at this time, so I only have so much. What I do know, I will advise you of, and I will take a few questions at the end. This morning at about 2 a.m., police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. Mm. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. That person was working, apparently, as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. Mm. We have uh, individuals who obviously performed the shooting who were seen in a vehicle. I do not have a description of the vehicle or the suspects at this time. Again, it's very early on in the investigation. No description of the vehicle? I cannot speak to a motive at this point. I know his crib got cameras all around there. No description of the vehicle? This time, because it's so early, but as we get information, we will share it with you. Anyone with information is asked to call 416-808-2510 or Crime Stoppers. 
You can expect to see an increased presence in this neighborhood for the next little while, but it's no different than any other shooting or firearm discharge. We'll have officers here looking for witnesses to come forward, as well as we can canvassing for video. Right. I'll now take a few questions. Was Drake home and is he cooperating with this investigation? I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred, but I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperating. To what extent mm. is the rap beef between Drake and the Drake rap beef? So, I am aware of what you're talking about, but uh, it is so early in the investigation that I, we don't have a motive at this time. Well, and so I cannot comment further on that. While there's, the motive may not be confirmed, if that is something that you're looking at, knowing that this beef crosses borders into the U.S., is there anything being done? Bro, they really going in on this beef. The questions is about the beef and Kendrick Lamar. That is crazy, man. Like, they... they they're not just asking one question. They following up questions about this this whole beef thing. In the investigation to maybe prevent a potential suspect from leaving the So there is, this is no different than any other investigation, okay? Like, it's maybe more high profile because there's more people here, but we treat it like any other there's incident. So we'll here. be using all our resources. Our teams will be uh, doing as much as they can to investigate this, but it'll be no different than any other investigation is at this time. Is shot still in serious condition? Have you been able to talk to him? Has he not been able to give you a suspect description? And how is there no video yet of the car? That's what I said. So I can tell you that uh, all I'm going to say about the victim is that he's still in the hospital in serious condition. Mm. And I'm not going to just. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, this is obviously a, a very well to do uh, neighborhood. There's likely a lot of uh, video around. Have you guys begun your canvassing to right. expect to get a good amount of video involved with this? Uh, I would be surprised if we didn't. Uh, I can say that we've already collected some uh, video evidence which uh, captures the incident. You said suspects you said plural. Can you say, are we talking two, three, or more? No idea at this time. And would you characterize this as a drive by shooting or? More specifically, did they stop and open fire? Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, specifics about the investigation at this time, just that it uh, a vehicle was involved and then fled the scene. He being careful. Uh, that will be part of our investigation, uh, but again, we're very early on. How did the uh, 911 call come in? Who made it? Uh, I don't have that information. Was this security guard alone? Uh, I don't have that information. Uh, did, in the incident, did it look like the security guard was the target? Were they trying to get past him? Uh, he don't know nothing right now. Don't know at this time. You said you have video capturing the incident? Yes. The actual shooting? Yes. And you can't give us a description of the vehicle? Nope, not at this time. Mm. You don't want to release it? No, because I, I, it's, we're dealing with video quality issues, correct? So we, uh, as we have information and we're able to analyze video better, then we'll be able to provide more information. Video quality issues. The shooting occurred outside the gates, but there are markers inside near a garage, and there's an area cordoned off there. Would, would shell casings have gone that far? Why would that be? I, I haven't even walked up to the scene, so I can't comment. Wow. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, uh, no, that's going to be part of the investigation. Can't comment on this time. Thank you very much. He getting out of here. All right. So we were just listening as authorities provided the very latest information after a security this guard was shot outside the rapper Drake's house right there. And this is aerial footage of his home in Toronto. You can see it is a very large residence that is being described as an upscale neighborhood. So this is what we know from authorities. The security guard was outside Drake's home, which you see right there in this aerial footage. When that shooting occurred, the shooter was inside a vehicle. That vehicle drove by this house and mm. shot uh, the security guard, the security guard right now is in the hospital in serious condition. Mm. Uh, we were hearing reporters asking whether this shooting had anything to do with Drake's feud with right. rapper Kendrick Lamar. And we heard authorities this saying is this crazy. is very early on in the investigation. This is and crazy. at this point in time, they do not have a motive. 
Uh, but you heard from the authority right there that there will be an increased police presence in this neighborhood. He did stress that there is no difference from other shootings. He also said he cannot confirm if Drake was actually home right. at this time. Again, this is Drake's home in Toronto. Uh, he did say, though, that there is video evidence that captured the shooting. He did that. not elaborate as to exactly uh, what that video showed. And he also said that they don't have any information about who called 911. So again, we are following some breaking news after a security guard outside Drake's Toronto house was shot now in the hospital in critical condition. It is unclear whether this shooting had anything to do with Drake's ongoing feud with fellow singer and rapper Kendrick singer. Lamar. And again, these are aerial shots of Drake's Toronto mansion right man. there, of course. All right, man, so my initial thoughts on the whole thing is super unfortunate, first and foremost. Uh, I hope the security guard uh, has a speedy recovery. You know what I mean? I hope you don't have any serious injuries. But two things come to my mind. One, this don't look good for hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that it was related to the beef at all, but just so happened that it happens right after the beef, it don't look good for hip hop. It looked like some nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? It looked like, all right, now it's time to go ahead and bang, bang. You know what I mean? Like I said, the two don't have to be related at all, but just the optics of how it look, it don't look good. Secondly, Kendrick Lamar name being brought into it just because of the sequence of events and how close it was to they beef when their their disc records going back and forth. What if Kendrick Lamar don't have nothing to do with this? You know what I'm saying? And I personally believe he probably don't have nothing to do with this. This is just my opinion. I don't know nothing. But I'm saying for your name to be brought up in a serious high profile case like this, you know what I'm saying? When you're talking about somebody getting shot due in serious condition, potentially a drive by going on and your name being brought up in the midst of a, a shooting like this and you probably ain't got nothing to do with it i don't know but i'm just saying just in case if he don't have nothing to do with it he just sitting there chilling something going on in toronto he ain't got no connection with it, some shit go off and his name being brought up in it so like it don't look good for hip-hop man first and foremost like i said this situation probably ain't even related to the beef it could be it could not we don't know we waiting for more information but the fact of the beef happened and then the shooting happened that looked crazy and then on top of that Kendrick Lamar getting his name brought into it just because they was in a rap beef things can be completely two separate incidents a rap beef here and somebody doing some wild shit in Toronto here you know what I mean so it's unfortunate, you know what I mean, that it looks like that and the optics of it. It's unfortunate that Buddy got shot. I hope everybody do well. And like I said, I don't want to see nobody get hurt. I don't want to see no violence, bro. So y'all let me know in the comments, man, what y'all think about this, man. Do y'all think it's related? Do y'all not think it's related? Whatever you think in the comments, you let me know. You drop it in the comments. It's open. Whatever you want to say. But till next time, man, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Whew.